How you guys doing? My name is Darren Duhadaway. I'm the fall intern here at the Allentown Art Museum and a student at Kutztown University. So what I'm going to be doing today is taking you through Kutztown to show you some of the works from famous Kutztown artist Keith Haring. Um, all these works are free depending on the hours of the business that they're in. So I definitely think you should check them out and let's get started. Starting off here in the Kutztown Park is Figure Balancing on the Dog, which was created in 1989 by Herring, but gifted in 1992 by the Tony Schafferatz Gallery and the Herring Foundation at Kutztown. This sculpture is red painted steel. Um, it's probably about 10 feet tall, and I think it really personifies some of Herring's work. His creative genius and the dog and the person that are consistent throughout his uh, works are really brought to life here in the statue or sculpture rather and I think that it just does a great job of really showcasing who Herring was and like how his artwork was because people come to this park just to see this artwork and in the summer on a nice day you find a ton of people just going to look at it. Okay so moving on we're going to be going to the new arts program located on Main Street in Kutztown. Um, so this is a floor mural that is huge. It takes up probably the whole program or yeah program and so what this was here, actually, I caught up with the program director, James Carroll, who was actually here when this was created by Herring, and he told me the story. Herring just went to a local hardware store, he got a quart of black paint, and he came back and he did this in about 30 to 45 minutes. The crazy thing about this is how Herring, James Carroll said it was magnificent to take a step back and look at him when he worked, because he just, you know, he'd take a step back and he just get it all done. There was no redos for Herring. He just did it all in one motion. And Carol, who had known Herring for a while, really talked about his evolution as an artist. Now he always progressed as he aged further. And also how he was such a nice guy when it came to his art, that if you came up to him on the street and you know you were talking to him and you wanted something done, he would take the time to you know draw you a picture or do anything as long as you had something there for him. And I just think that's great and it really speaks to who Herring was. So the last place we're going to go is the Historical Society in Kutztown. And this is probably the most unique out of all of the works that are pub available publicly for viewing in Kutztown. Um, because as you can see here on the screen, it's actually chalkboard drawings. And I thought that was really unique. It's not something you see much, especially as a medium, but, you know, Herring was anything but ordinary. And so the story behind this is Brendan Strasser, the Historical Society librarian, had told me is that this used to be an elementary school building and it was actually rented out to Herring one summer when he had come home to visit after the Historical Society had bought it and he left this as a gift. And one of the great things that uh, Strasser actually had the privilege of letting me know when I was talking with him is that Herring would come home over the summer and visit the local schools and talk to the students about his art and just art in general and it just Herring was such a creative and well-known guy that, you know, to have a celebrity that is so nice. And I think that this, this works just really personify that and bring it to life. So that was all the works that are around Kutztown from Keith Herring for you to see. Um, these works are free, like I mentioned before. I definitely think you should go and check them out. They're great pieces of work and actually being there does them a much better justice than just watching this video. Um, so I actually I'm going to show you a piece of herring that we have on our collection and it's on display right now. Um, it's in the Contemporary Art Gallery here in the museum and I'm going to show it to you right now. So this is the piece. Um, it is untitled. It just, you know, it depicts the famous herring man holding the heart. You can actually see just because herring is such a unique artist that this actually really just is his work. Um, I think you should come and check it out. And that's going to be all from now. So thanks so much for watching guys and have a good one.